Kiryu is getting gossiped about. God, she looks like the old lady from Freaky Friday. She does. The, the Lindsay Lohan version. Yeah. Wait for the nosy ladies. To not be looking. Oh god. My secretary. Mm -hmm. Who is this? What's her name? Um. Nani. Marina. Marina. Okay. Wait for Marina to walk out and start walking back into the park, then move up to the sign on the ground. What? I don't know. Wait for Marina to walk out and start walking back into the park. Yeah, fair enough. I think it's like a timing thing. Yeah, your objective is to avoid the scrutiny of the old ladies. Okay, so it's like a weird timing game. Mm. <laughs> Does he have a son? No, I just hang out with children a lot. It's weird, I know. But I'm not a pervert, so. <laughs> he okay? Begin your dubious quest. Quest for Wait for Debbie's. her to walk out. Yeah, I, I see. So walk out and then back into the park. Mm, then move up to the sign on the ground. Is it probably there? Yeah. Wait for the nosy ladies on the street to not be looking in your specific direction. Guess that's there. Tend to the alley itself. Stay obscured by the vending machines. Watch for one of the ladies in the alley itself to pass your vision and start walking back to the left. At this point, you kind of have to be lucky. Peek out and see where the lady in purple is looking. If she's looking to the left, run your tail to her right for the vending machine. If she's looking to the right... Ah, oh, shit. Do you want to read it? No, I, I understand it. Okay. I, I made a mistake. I thought when you said that I had to be obscured from the vending machines, I had to be obscured from the women in, in the street, not the woman in the alley. Yeah, stay obscured by the vending machines at the entrance to the alley. Those. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh oh. Fuck. Yeah, you're out of the alley now. Yeah. Ew. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, gotta wait for Marina. Hijinks will ensue. Hardcore. God, Marina, could you go any slower? You gotta be patient. I'm itching for porns. I guess. <laughs> gotta control yourself, man. <laughs> you get more than enough. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that fly suit. Mm. Ah, did yeah, it. Second try. Did it. You kind of just have to try. be lucky, as it so seems. Yeah, you can also see it on the map where she's facing. Oh, right on. Uh -huh. I guess it helps that you understand that. Yeah. Come on, Kiryu. Big old perv. God. Kiryu, come on, dude. You just bought port. Let's not... Mm. Yeah. Finally a man. I'm gonna jerk it tonight. No, you're gonna give it to a child and he's gonna jerk it. Oh, gross. Yeah. He's not gonna jerk it. The kid is probably gonna look at it. Don't ever let your mom. You can't let anyone know about it. 
Don't ever open it. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's the first place a mom looks. Yeah. For the or, love of God, forget my face. Don't put it in your mattress. That's true, because let's be real, dude, you're like 10, maybe? Your mom does your sheets. So if anybody's going to find it under your mattress or hidden in your sheets, it's going to be her. You know what it was a great place for children to keep their porn? Where? In between their coloring books. There you go. <laughs> and their little baby desk. <clears throat> what? Daddy, dude. Did I suss out your secret hiding spot? Mom, stop telling on people. You narc. He's so mad. He's just because his your arm's over him. I can't put my arm here? Baby. It's comfy. It's okay. Dad, I don't want her to be comfy. No, I'm sorry, baby. I want life to be good for me. I know. Guys, I'm cradling his snout right now. He seems to love it. Oh, okay, you sniffed my arm all offended. Like, how dare you put this in my field of vision? Is that better? Oh. That's where he hangs out. Pervert Alley. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Bye, bye. Being that he's a pervert. Am I ready? Oh, okay. I can learn a move from him. Hell yeah. <laughs> Weird little cough you did, man. Pretty famous street fighter back in the States. He even had a saying, knives take lives. You want to do some harm, prepare to lose an arm. Wow. Blade arm mash. Mm. Ah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He's like being hunted. Mr. Man, what's your deal? Yeah, I squeaked by accident. Oh, goodness. Ah, okay, there it is. Broke his arm. Gotta feel bad. The timing's pretty forgiving. Well, that's nice. I feel like What's up, honey? This. Yeah, this is how Bacchus teaches me moves. Oh. Hitman come to take care of me. Damn, dude. All right. Fine, that's how you want to play it? I'll just bash you. I don't have to use the move that I just learned. I think that's a poor, just a, well. Yeah, any taunting power. Ooh, feels bad, man. That was a hearty little bit of damage. Still doesn't get rid of a knife though. Ooh. Do I need heat to use that move? Cause, man. Hold up. That's heat. That's health and heat. That's just heat. Okay, well I need health right now. Damn. Okay, I think you do need to have heat because it didn't give me the option that time. Again, it would be great if the game actually explained these things to you. 
Yeah, because it does take away your heat after that. Oh. God, these guys are hardy. Bacchus, you gotta start pissing off softer men. I don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. Yeah. These, these take too long. Don't Boy. anger the hardcore boys. Honestly. With knives. Make the make like lunchroom bullies. Make mad. friends. <laughs> That's true. Because honestly, Bacchus, I'm gonna be real. I'm not your friend. I like to be in a situation where Bacchus says, "I need you to come help me quick." <laughs> And, like, all he wants you to do is bring a karaoke machine for his party. <laughs> he just wants you to help him move out of his apartment. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't involve your life. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No figures. Can I just straight up buy porn? Why do you want to know these things? I can. I did. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> what? I don't think I can, like... Oh, by the way, you have a new video. Or you should. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. You can use it. Oh, it gives me a little heat. Cool. Nasty. <laughs> this game is gross. It's for preparing for a fight. Oh, speaking of fights. All right, buddy. Didn't the ancient up. Greeks like to... You know... Jerk it before a fight? I don't know, man. I wasn't there. I mean, I don't think they were jerking it. It's like letting loose. I think there was this concept of like some warriors straight up had boyfriends because they felt yeah like they would perform better if, if they were like fighting side by side milked. with somebody they loved. Oh, did you say milked? I don't know what uh, like how else? Yeah, nasty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know how. Yeah, else if to they like... were if they were unburdened by the weight of their jism, <laughs> like you nasty. I don't know how else to call a person who thinks that they need like. A special boy to fight with them so that they are unencumbered by their desires. I, I, <laughs> I think it was more like they felt. Seems like a milker. Milkman. Nasty. I oh. thought that's what Greek boyfriends were. Was it just like friendship love? No, I think it was still very much like romantic like love. Carnal? It could be carnal. I don't know. Again, I wasn't there. But I'm fairly certain the point was not so that you were going into battle with an with empty balls. Oh, I thought that's the point. <laughs> I thought no. that's why they did it. I mean, maybe. Who's to say? Whatever. This is getting weird. Uh, what uh, <laughs> what sub story did you say we we could do? Um, I'm just going down the list. Okay. So they're not um chronological or anything. Yeah. But have we done eighteen? The, oh no! Never mind. It? That's a story related one so we'll hit that one anyway uh 25 postcard rookie yeah we did postcard rookie did. pro and master yeah okay so the only one the only other ones are part of the story okay so Check. 18 beyond the door and number 49 kamaru chose mr moneybags both of them involve mr moneybags Okay. You could also check chapter five because we kind of just like skipped forward. Oh, and I can think... we go back? Yeah. Well, like the way it works is the side, the subquests are not available available until certain chapters, but I don't think they're exclusive to those chapters. Okay. Well, then we can do number one. Okay. Which is the visionary fortune teller, which to do you must have completed Majima's Rise of the Dragon. Uh. Is that also a side quest? It. I guess so. I don't think we've done that. Damn it. Whoops. This is like back in chapter three, I think. Yeah, it makes sense. Rise of the dragon. Okay. Um, so we have to do this anyway to do number one. So head to the far east of... Can we do it, though? If we're not oh, Majima? no, no. We have to be Majima for that one. Damn that it. That is the restriction. So Damn we can't it. do stuff okay. that is Majima exclusive. Uh, well... Uh, okay, let's go. Do you have Number three, Passport to Pizza, we, we did. We did that one. The Human Trafficking Ring. We've not done that one. That's number five. 
You must have completed Kamurocho undercover. We did do that. Okay. Head into shellac. And you'll see the reporter. Okay. Uh, I don't... It doesn't give me anything except head to into shellac. Yeah, that's like a dive bar. Oh, okay. God, I could go for some ramen. It sounds good. We don't have any, do we? No. Damn. We're not living our best lives. I mean, we have lived our best lives. That's why we're out of ramen. That's true. Man, these guys are really trying to chase me down. There we go. I gave up. It's funny. It's like very near to where we kind of kicked off this session. You know the uh, Earth Angel? Yeah. He sees you. Yeah, well, you can choke on you a big one. You can see me later. You can see this ass. Booty. Alright. Gotta bump the same man again. After he was like, okay, I'm over it. What's up, Kasuga? Uh. You got me my first gun. So you're basically like my dad. <laughs> or a very irresponsible uncle. I think that's more accurate. I don't know. In my uh, case, they both seem right. Yeah. That's Mind true. you, I've never had a gun. That's but I've true. gotten the offer from both the father and two uncles. There you go. <laughs> All of whom are irresponsible. <laughs> also have gotten the offer from a stepdad. The moral of this story is people want me to have guns. And I keep not wanting You're them. You're small. figures okay um, I'm guessing accompany him for the human trafficking ring you know does it really not say? It really doesn't say. I'm just going to read it. Uh, head into shellac. You'll see the reporter. He'll mention a lead on human trafficking. How you respond to that is unimportant, but he'll, he'll let you know that he's down in Pink Alley. Is that what that means? How you respond to this is not important? I guess so. So, okay. I'm sorry, usually they do the the quotes, and I was just like, man, am I, am I that dumb? Or are they really not telling me what to do? 